I have here a phone directory, a phone book, a yellow book, and as you notice here, every name has a phone number. So if I'm looking for the phone number of uh, uh, Mr. X, I will open the the yellow pages at the and look for Mr. X and uh, find his uh, his phone number. So uh, so let me quickly bring out here the DOS command and I'm going to paste this uh, URL here or this sorry host uh, string here and hit the enter command as you notice here we presented with a number 91.198.174.192 so I'm going to type this number in the browser so I'm going to type 91.198.174.192 and hit enter and as you can see this points to Wikipedia uh, this table lists uh, IP addresses uh, from a DNS server and uh, the DNS server referred to its tables uh, to uh, map uh, IP addresses to URL. Um, it's very difficult to remember IP addresses uh, by their, uh, uh, sorry, URL by their IP addresses or website by their IP addresses. So uh, to make it easy on us, uh, uh, the DNS is used to map a friendly, uh, friendly URL such as yahoo.com here or google.com or wikipedia.org to IP addresses so when we type in the browser google.com uh, first the DNS is consulted uh, for this uh, string uh, google.com or this URL and then uh, if it finds a match uh, an IP address uh, then it is forwarded back to us to the client uh, then it is. Uh, then the website is uh, is uh, is correctly accessed. Now these IP addresses are issued uh, when uh, you register your website and you are uh, given a unique IP address with your with the name of your website or the URL of your website. Um, to bypass a DNS server, all you need to know uh, to know is the IP address, and you just key that into the browser, hit enter, and uh, you go straight to the website by passing a. Uh, DNS server. So that should conclude uh, uh, this uh, video clip. Uh, so bye for now.